You see that? Yes, the size is incredible. You wanna put your finger in there? Are you gonna? <laughs> I'm gonna touch it. Uh, no, no, you're. Oh. oh, oh my god. I've tried a lot of strange creatures pulled straight from the ocean. <laughs> Whoa! Some of those creatures are so poisonous, chefs need a certification in order to prepare them. Puffer fish poison is uh, very, very dangerous. The poison hit uh, my mouth so quickly. Oh, I can't, I can't move. Oh. Well, this time, I'm leveling up, taking on the extremely rare, extremely poisonous stonefish. If it gets to like the right amount, then you can get a heart failure. Like a heart attack? Yes. Today we're in Saigon, Vietnam, trying out three very different fish dishes with three very different price tags, from just a few bucks to hundreds of dollars. And by the end, hopefully, I walk away with my life. Time to eat. Welcome to another episode of Cheap Food versus Expensive Food with an extra food in the middle so the video is over 10 minutes and we can optimize our monetization. Today's dynamic food fish. Out of all the fish, if you could have any fish, what fish would that be? My go-to is always salmon. For me, it's the penis fish. What? Why do you like that? It's good. Today, we're going to eat some very affordable fish, and then we're going to go up to something that's super expensive. Can you guess how expensive it will be? $100. $100. You have $100 <laughs> to spend on fish? I, I will work on it. <laughs> Are you hungry? Yes, yes, yes. I skip every meal so I can come here. <laughs> <laughs> For how many weeks? Look at me. I used to weigh 100 kilogram and now I'm like this. What do you think? It's pretty good. Yes. All right, let's go eat. <laughs> let's go. Meet Miss Tom, owner of the A7 restaurant. First of all, can I shake a woman's hand in Vietnam? Of it's course, fine, yes. right? Well, hello there. Xin chào, M. She and her chef moved from Vietnam's central coast to Saigon a year ago, and they brought their recipes with them. Phu Yen chicken hot pot, seafood, and one dish that caught my eyeballs. The eyes of a tuna fish. <laughs> Quick question. Tuna, it's known to have many delicious parts, mm. mainly the body, and that's it, the body. Yeah. So why do you eat the eyes? Basically, in Phu Yen, they are very famous for tuna, and usually they export tuna, like the body part, to many countries in the world. So who, who's buying all the tuna? The Japan? That's all, the Japan. Aha! Look at me, I'm a food detective. And that the eyes left, they think about what should they do with it, and then the locals, they think of a way to do that, and they steam it with traditional Chinese medicine. They said that it has a lot of nutrition. Have you ever had a tuna eye? <laughs> I had, I had. I'm actually from central Vietnam, so I did visit Phu Yang, and yeah, I had ah, it one time. So you like it? Uh, <laughs> Boom, ma'am, thank you so much. I can't wait to try it out. Mm, yeah. The chef fries fresh onion, ginger, and fresh pepper together to add more flavor. Then 11 different kinds of traditional medicinal herbs. Lastly, a mixture of fish sauce and sugar. Then, the tuna eye. Listen, when I went to Japan about a year ago, I had a nightmare experience with tuna eyes. I went to a market, okay. I bought tuna eyes, and then it was just cooked by some guy. <laughs> it wasn't even like a restaurant. Like, well, it was a restaurant, it was a pizza restaurant. A pizza restaurant? Yeah. That is so random. And the guy was so nice and polite and had such wonderfully like gelled spiky hair. I didn't want to say anything. And then oof, I ate it. Delicious. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Here, here's me eating it. Oof, right? And fire person. To keep the tuna eye hot and to put on a bit of a show, fire. Vibrant chemicals set ablaze to add an element of danger to your dining. All right, so basically we have a bomb <laughs> in, on our plate. There we go, this bringing it so to cool. me. If anything happened, I miss my fan. Okay, here we go. I can't tell anymore. Oh, I don't even see my eye. Yours is kind of looking at you. It's a big challenge. You see your eye. <laughs> it's a big challenge. There it is. You know, this would be so much more convenient mm. to eat if it wasn't uh, on fire. fire. <laughs> yeah, it's got some meat on the look, bottom. Look, 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 look. Oh my God. That looks awesome. I'm gonna try out some of this meat. Mm. Mm. Oh, interesting. It's a lot to get used to. But if you get the right piece, the right balance of fat and protein, it's uh -huh. freaking delicious. It's, Super juicy. It's so much meat for like just an eye. You have to try the broth. I like the Chinese medicine taste in this. Oh, 
Oh, that was a mistake. I can't taste anything the rest of the day. Yeah, you got it. You got uh, it. It's thick and cloudy. And then obviously just all these herbs give it a bit of an earthy flavor. Would you eat the actual eyeball? I mean, you eat everything. Look, you can see this one had beautiful eyes. I think it lost in them. Oh, you're already in. She's already like done with it. I mean, it's better than I thought. I mean, when I think of eyes, I'm like, oh. okay, they actually. It's 100% fatty, no protein, obviously. The texture is pretty out there, but I like the flavor. Compared to Japan, not that we need to be comparing eyeballs in countries. I, I want you to, yeah. It is better. Yes! I mean, to be fair, the guy who cooked the eyeball <laughs> was a pizza chef in Japan with spiky hair. <laughs> And this is a, a lady who comes from a long line, generations of eyeball cookers. Um, I'm happy with it. We did a good job. Your tongue's okay. No, it hurts. <laughs> it will be okay though. Ron Bien, established 10 years ago, now with over seven branches in this city, with a menu of over 300 seafood dishes. This is the place to go for serious seafood lovers. This is just part of the aquarium. It's gigantic. Look at that. Oh my God. Yeah. Have you ever had king crab? Yes, I did, but not live like this. Oh, you ate a dead one, not a live one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Have you seen this before? It looks like a lobster, but it's not. I believe it's called a, a slipper lobster. It's a weird type of lobster. Oh, that's cute. And it's got these big uh, antenna in the front. Okay, come in. We went to the shell section right here. This one. It's kind of floppy. <laughs> Oh. oh, dude, don't point it at me. That's dangerous. <laughs> it's reactive when I shake it like that. I cannot wait for the YouTube comments on this one. Anything else? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's That's why you got to be careful. They can spray at any time. Let's put them back with his friends. Perv. Okay, the last thing. This is a giant conch. It's like that a water slide. Insane. Just pouring on water. So this part is hard. I want you just to give it a little tap. I'm just scared it's gonna do something. Huh? What's it gonna do? I don't know. Like threaten Shoot your parents? something out of it? Oh, that. All right, they're looking at me like, why are you touching all of our goddamn uh, inventory, buddy? <laughs> it's not actually a petting zoo. Before getting into the most medium-priced fish of the day, Supervisor Mr. Lin, boss of all things aquatic, is going to help me understand more about this fishy business. Boom, sir. Thank you. Oh, two hands. Yeah, there we go. Thank you so much for having us today. And I got to tell you, your little area here, it puts the aquarium in my hometown to shape. You have so much variety. So what is the key to maintaining the life of all these creatures and having a successful live seafood restaurant? If you want to live a long time, we have a team of fish care and fish care. It's very hard and experienced for a long time. We've been checking out all the fish in the water until we make the fish care. Wow, he revealed a lot of secrets there. <laughs> I know. Oh, so he has a team that does it. You kind of, yeah, you have to Great. steal some human resource, yeah. If you add up the value of everything here, all these animals, how much is this all worth? Wow. Yes. So what is the most expensive item you have here? So like king crab, uh, crystal crab. We're actually at this location for a medium priced fish. We're here for the shark. These thresher sharks come from Binh Dinh province, one of the few places in Vietnam where you can find them. Here, fishermen price these fish for their meat, fins, skin, and liver oil. This is the largest species of thresher shark, with some reaching 20 feet in length. That's the length of a small bus, but still, wow. There are two ways to bring the shark here. One is they're gonna fly, and then second one is they go by car. By car. Yes. <laughs> In case they're afraid of with flying or... With oxygen tank. So basically a little aquarium in the car. Exactly. If this shark's last wish was to bask in a roiling hot tub, then that wish has come true. We have our shark right here. Our first dish of two. Fermented rice hot pot with shark filet. So it's not quite like a hot pot. It's more like a hot platter. Yes. It's yes. very shallow. Only about this deep. Very visual. I want to try this um, fermented rice broth. What? It smells like Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Yeah, it's fatty and sour. Is that from chicken? Oh, it's actually from pork bones. The shark has been sliced pretty thin and it's just all there. Boom. All right, so we're going to put six of these in here. How long does it take to cook? Uh, two to three minutes. Oh, it's all curled up. Yeah, it's cooking really fast. Yeah. Slow down, slow down with that tarot root. Does that look done? Yes. Okay, cheers. Let's try it out. Some baby shark. Oh, mm. it is so flaky and delicate. It almost just like dissolves away in your mouth. Now I understand why people like that. They have got some skin right here. Let's try that too. A little more fishy and, and sticky, but not bad. I'm pretty impressed so far. They actually have one more course. This is only part of it. Uh, yeah, you didn't think that was the whole shark, did you? 
Oh, it's you're, you're right. The tail and head of the shark are grilled with chili salt over charcoal. Flip, flip, flip. Then spread a blend of secret seasonings, salt and chilies, on top before grilling it once more. I'm very excited because the head is here. <laughs> oh, it's like a Two Face from Batman, except both sides are very badly burned. It smells amazing. All right, grilled shark for the very medium price of forty-four dollars. Let's try it out. Yo, it's really interesting. The skin is super sticky, and the meat itself has kind of become sticky, too. All these crusted edges that you see here are just kind of caramelized meat. It tastes like mackerel, right? Oh, mackerel. Yeah, a little bit, but I can say without the broth this time, the flavor is not as strong. It's very peppery, but beyond that, there's not a ton of flavor. I think when you grill it, the flavor comes in. The smell of fish is not as strong here. I think, like, you know, when it's on open fire, then it's, it's kind of get that out. Get, <laughs> it, get, it sweats it <laughs> get out. It out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a pipe that just burst behind there. And the ground is now slowly covering with mud and coming towards us. I think we're good. I think we did a good job. Should we go? Can we go? <laughs> let's go. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to push my chair in. And maybe they can send that to us, actually. We should go. Welcome to Taeyoi Hai Sang Restaurant. Here, they also have their own aquarium with over 100 types of seafood. We're here for their most prized creature from the sea, the rare, the expensive, the venomous stonefish. Last year, during my trip to Japan, I became well acquainted with one of the most poisonous creatures of the deep, the pufferfish. All organ is still dangerous. Liver mm. and a female organ of pufferfish is very, very dangerous. However, it turned out to be fairly safe, and it turns out that a lot of news outlets and YouTubers exaggerate its danger in an effort to procure more views. I personally would never do that. In the video, mm -hmm. we want people to be worried about my safety, so they keep watching. Can we say it's like at least 1% dangerous? No. But today, this fish, the stonefish, is the real deal. The most venomous fish in the world. One wrong move, and it's all over. If it gets to like the right amount, then you can get a heart failure. Like a heart attack? Yes. Its deadliest feature, 13 spines that contain enough venom to kill an adult. Even an adult who acts like a child and wears a bandana. Why, why are we doing this? Because it tastes good. As deadly as it is, the venom is just a defense mechanism. So with precision and experience, our chef can prepare the fish and... Uh, You'll probably be fine. Mr. Le Van Fu, thank you for having us today. We are at the restaurant in which you are the head chef, the main man in your restaurant. And please be honest, how many people have died? <laughs> what I would love to do, uh, I'm super curious about this fish. It's ugly, it's expensive, it's fairly rare. So it's gonna cost one million. 250 k per kilogram. Around $50 per kilogram. Would you let us see you take it apart in the kitchen? I want to see a little bit of the filleting process. Yeah. That's okay? That, yeah, we can do it. Yeah, let's go. The stonefish will first be skinned. It has its deadly, venomous spines and mouth removed by one of the head chef's skilled, sacrificial apprentices. Do not try this at home. The now unrecognizable fish will be prepared two ways. A Hong Kong style steaming with soy sauce and grilled with chili salt. Right here, stonefish prepared two ways and we could die, but probably not. Uh, no, I trust, I trust the chef. First dish, grilled stonefish filet with chili salt. It's quite straightforward. Grill the filet for 10 minutes. When it's half done, spread a blend of minced garlic and shallots, fresh chilies, dried shrimpies, ground white pepper, and tons of other spices that I'm not gonna list out. After that, hit the grill once more and serve. Oh, it's heavy. That itself is like already a half a pound or a pound. All right, I don't know the best way. I think we can kind of just rip it apart. This is my first bite ever of stonefish. Same. Try it out. Cheers. Wow. The outside, obviously, there's fried shallots and a lot of pepper. The fish is kind of chewy in the raw sense. It's just uh, kind of soft and spongy. It doesn't taste like super cooked. Does it taste like chicken to you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. You should try it with the sauce. Are you one of those people, if you got like a $100 steak, you'd still put ketchup on it? Totally. Yeah, yeah my girlfriend is too. We almost uh, like broke up over that. <laughs> Our second dish, steamed stonefish. The chef places the remaining fish parts and its intestines on a plate with a mixture of six different soy sauces. Then, the steam. Mm. 
He adds shredded carrot, scallions, some herbs, and vermicelli mung bean noodles. Ominous, stringing carbohydrates that resemble witch hair. Scary. This is the stomach of the fish, yes. It's a huge stomach. And guess what I found? The liver! The size is incredible. How are you doing over there? <laughs> Super chewy. Wow, I just feel like I drank it a mouthful of ocean water. Okay, let's switch. You can have that. I'll take this stomach. See, that's what I'm talking about. What's happening? Why is this expensive? This has got a, a layer of chewiness, a layer of fattiness, and it looks like a big tumor. Very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna put that on this side. Now, I don't know what is up or down. I don't know what is ahead. Wait, you think those are teeth? Yeah, this is a teeth, right? No, those are part of the fin. Oh! I mean, this just looks like a fucking nightmare. <laughs> You know, a teleporter breaks down all your molecules and then puts it back together on the other side. Oh, I know what you mean. It looks like someone put a stonefish in a teleporter and then on the other side it just came out like this. <laughs> what, what, you, what have you done to me? You know, they took off the biggest filet and they fried it. And uh -huh. this is just everything else. So everything's technically cooked and it's up to you to try to pick it out. Vietnamese, we suck on bones. Vietnamese, we suck on bones. Now, you feel pretty comfortable speaking for all Vietnamese people when you say that. See that? Yeah, it's so bizarre. It has meat in so many tiny crevices. Yeah. Every time you peel back a layer, there's a tiny, like, a pod of meat that are the size of garlic. Might you, we suck on those too. Fantastic. <laughs> I think we should stop before this gets demonetized. That's a nice big bite. That's good. Clean, tender, and, and sweet from the sauce they put on here. Very good. I've never had a texture like this, where it's just oily and spongy. I like it, though. Twin? Twin? Twin. Twin. Thank you. We did it. I think we just need to spend a, a couple more hours picking off every morsel of meat, because I need to get my money's worth. It's, it's pretty expensive. The world of seafood in Southeast Asia is nearly endless. The options can be overwhelming, but when you're here, no matter what you pick, there's really no way to go wrong. Today, we tried three different fish at three different amounts of money. You have to tell me now which is the best value for the money. It's a tough decision, but I've been thinking about it, and I think I would go with the baby shark. The baby shark? Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. So that was around 44 bucks, something like that. You all right? Something stuck on my It's okay. Uh, Maybe a fish bone. Did you suck the bone? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Why did you like the shark so much? Uh, I think for the money that you spent, we got a very good amount of fillets out of it. I'm mm. very surprised. And then you can make two dishes out of it. And the taste is good as well. Yeah, yeah I surprising. like the taste. Yeah. All right, for me, this might surprise you. The one I think had the most bang for the buck was the tuna eye. Yeah. Yes, the stonefish is interesting. You can bring a friend and freak them out. Right. And they can skin it like Hannibal Lecter. But the tuna eye is only less than $4. So I would rather bring a friend to that experience, save a lot of money, True. and still experience something equally unique. They do put that on fire, right? It was on it's fire. It's a show. Okay. That's Instagram worthy. Best Ever Food Review Show is saying goodbye to all of our original Best Ever merch designs. But for the next 30 days, all of our previous designs will be available one last time. So besties, it's your last chance to snatch your favorite limited edition merch, all available in a variety of colors and styles. Link in bio to get yours. And be sure to check out our second channel, More Best Ever Food Review Show, for raw clips and deleted scenes that didn't make it into the show. Guys, huge thank you to Twin for joining me today. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Peace. A peace. Oh, all right, go. I was early. That's right. I was early today. That's right, it was a little fishy, but no big deal. Why, <laughs> no, you gotta go back on camera. <laughs>